Welcome back, everybody. Thank you guys for joining me. My name is Alan, and this is Fan Wagon, where today I'm going to be breaking down our fourth hot toy review. Now, the figure that I'm going to be reviewing is a figure that came out a long time ago, but I felt like I needed to pick it up because I'm new to collecting, and hey, I found it for a great price. So, without further ado, the figure that we're going to be doing is none other than the DX12 Batman from The Dark Knight Rises. That's right, guys. A lot of uh, scrutiny on this figure, you know, some complaints. I think it's great. Let's go ahead and dive into the box first. As you can see here, here's the box. It is a pretty basic, um, uh, I've noticed with the DX figures, they do tend to do a more artistic kind of box to it. Um, do be careful when opening your box because they do come, some of them have come with tears like mine here. And uh, what, what we have on the front is the bat symbol from the Dark Knight Rises with Batman at the bottom and the DX12 logo, as well as the Dark Knight Rises. So if I go ahead and open this, I'll try to make it so nothing falls out. Very careful opening this. All right. As you can see, you do come with this little blueprint of the bat itself, and this is a like foam cover that, if you lift up, that's where the figure will be, along with some of the accessories. But we'll get into that in a minute. <laughs> well, as the other side, we'll have a chalk Batman logo with Batman under it. Let's go ahead and check out and see what's under. What's on the back? You just have your basic black with the warnings and uh, Hot Toys. I don't believe that there's a cast and crew uh, logo or credited on this figure, and you do see the DX logo right there as well. So let's go ahead and open it up to see what's all uh, the accessories that it comes with. All right, everyone. So here are some of the many accessories that come with Batman. That's one thing that I do love about the figure is that it has tons of accessories, and this isn't including the extra head sculpt that he comes with the extra mouthpieces that he comes with, and the beautiful stand that is very detailed that he comes with that I'll get into later on in the video. All right, for first for accessories, I'm going to go ahead and break out his Batarang. That's right, guys, Batman's signature Batarang. This is really cool. It's got kind of a springy action up top as well as you can remove the magazine on the bottom. Alright, and one of his other guns that he comes with and we have seen before is his sticky bomb gun. Now this does disassemble, I'm not going to show you guys how to do that, uh, but I will show you it actually on one of the belts. It is magnetized to the back of it. Now this thing has great detail, really cool. Not sure if I'm going to pose the figure with it or not, but we'll see. I'll get you guys some shots at the end of uh, some poses with some of his accessories. We have another gun. This is his EMP gun that he owned. We only seen it in one scene, but I'm glad that they included it because it was really, really cool. Now, this thing is light up. I'll light those up in just a second, but as you can see, you can kind of move that forward. On the bottom, there's a little switch here. Go ahead and switch that on. There we go. This has great detail and it actually comes with a clip here that uh, if you bought the bat pod, this can clip onto there. Kind of cool. Now you have the traditional Batman little smoke bombs or grenades. These things have got great detail. Um, I'm not sure if any of the hands will actually fit these, but uh, you know, I'm glad that they included them because they are really, really cool. And I really do like when Batman uses these. Now, you can't have a Batman figure without his signature Batarangs. That's right, guys. You get two Batarangs. I wish you got a little bit more, but that's all right. Um, I'm actually probably not going to pose mine with them. But, uh, you know, I just like having them because they are pretty cool. And they are kind of a... Plastic. I do like the paint app that they used on these too. I like the gold. It looks really really good Now like I said, he does come with two utility belts this one right here Is more of a one that is more uh, decked out maybe that he would use for 
a mission or combat or something like that with the pockets and these are not removable so please don't try to remove them and it actually you can fit the batarang on the back just like just like that and that's pretty cool that way you can feel like you're using the the gun and it's not going to waste even if you don't want to pose them with that and this is more of a streamlined one if you just kind of wanted to have him in that kind of uh, stoic kind of pose where he's just kind of standing there and didn't want to have too much going on with him and on the back of this these are magnetized here and that is actually for the sticky bomb gun which I will get you guys a shot towards the end of the video of I'm really glad that we got two of these it's, it's, I think that's really cool if I toys to include that so let's go ahead and get in some of the hands that he's got <clears throat> alright so here he has kind of a left handed uh, I'm not sure if this holds a sticky bomb gun or one of the guns it could actually maybe even hold the mines as long as, as well as another kind of more relaxed hand and these hands got some great details that's one thing that I do like about uh about this figure is you know I really do like the detail and I'm glad uh you know they they put the effort into it and really gave us a good figure with this Batman although it does have its complaints now here's a right hand trigger for either sticky bomb gun or the EMP gun And I believe this one is to be able to hold a batarang, and this is for his right hand. Pretty cool. And the traditional left and right fisted hands. Now, let's go ahead and not waste any more time and jump into these head sculpts. One thing that I do love about this figure. Alright guys, so let me go ahead and jump into these head sculpts. Here, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the traditional Batman head sculpt. I really do like this thing. I do think it looks a lot like Christian Bale. Uh, one big complaint that people have, you know, kind of complained about is the eyes and that they kind of wished that they were more um, black around the things. And I know they fixed that in the armory. I believe it is the armory Batman that just came out recently. But see, I don't think that really bothers me too much because I think that this thing looks great. And it does come with a couple more face plates and I'll show you guys in a little bit as well as it is magnetic um, not a huge fan of the magnetic uh, head sculpt things I do like the ball joint you get a little bit more control with uh, with the figures and this kind of gets knocked around kind of easy if you bump it and this thing also comes with the purse system uh, you take this little tool here there's a little thing in the back there and you can kind of move around oh crazy Batman's eyes so let me go ahead and get another head sculpt that I really like and that is the Bruce Wayne head sculpt and here it is the Bruce Wayne head sculpt I think they did a great job capturing Christian Bale's face not as good as the one-fourth scale but you know that's a bigger head sculpt and it's a lot more detail that you can kind of put into it with a bigger surface one thing I wish that they would have done I thought he had kind of gray temples I wish that they would have done that or shown a little bit more age in his hair because he did have that and this neck collar part actually it detaches so before you guys put it in figure and this is a ball joint this is not magnetic uh you know make sure that you guys put that on but i really really like that let me show you guys the other face plates real, real quick now I'll try to get them on the figure now here's one of the face plates it's kind of a smirk kind of uh plain face not a, not a huge fan of this it's all right i probably won't use it to pose a figure And then there is this one with the teeth kind of showing really good detail on this there's some great modifications that you guys can do with this figure too there's a lot of cool videos out here that can show you guys some really cool stuff one I do recommend is getting a different cape 
but I'll touch on that here in a minute. So let's go ahead and break out the stand. Check it out, because it is really cool. All right, guys, here's one of my favorite things about this figure, and that is this stand. It is simply beautiful. You have the concrete steps, with the second step having that bat logo on it. Shattered bat logo, that is. Very uh, fitting for this movie. You also have the nameplate on front that says Batman MMS DX. And one thing that I really love is that they added the little kind of snow feature to that. I think that's really cool. As well as the little dots or bullet holes, whatever those could be. Also, this stand lights up, which is really cool. I love the stands that light up like this. As well as your basic crotch grab post there, which is perfect. I don't need a dynamic post for him. This is actually one thing that I really did like about the figure. I love that they put the detail and effort into doing this because it does look really, really good, and Batman just looks amazing on it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get Batman out here right now. All right, guys, so here he is, the Batman himself. Now I'm going to go over some quick articulation with him. Make sure you guys do read your instructions, too. So as you can see, his arm movement is hindered by the shoulder pad, but it does lift up, which is always nice. You have your elbow bend here, as well as your wrist swivel you don't have much back and forth but i'm all right with that that's fine and like i said earlier this is on a magnet joint so you can kind of really move his head kind of all around as for his waist we do have minor it's not that great you know the the suit is rubber here and there is a suit under it and it kind of hinders it a little bit now for his leg up that's about as high as you're going to get him. It's, it's not going up much higher than that. And I really do want to stress not to, you know, put too much stress on your figures and don't try to force them to be in some crazy pose. Now, that's about as far as you can push his legs out. But his knees do bend, but you can't even get his leg up. So, you know, not too helpful. One thing that I like is that his boot is two separate things so you do have great ankle pivot and articulation there so let's go ahead I'm gonna throw him on a stand get you guys some detailed shots of his suit alright guys so I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts on the figure before I kinda of break in and show you guys some poses there are some things that I like there are some things that I do not like the head sculpt that a lot of people that complain about you know with the eyes not being dark enough I'm alright with that, that's not that big of a deal. One thing that I am completely unhappy with is the cape. It is a bitch to fiddle with. I hate it, I actually ordered me a custom cape. Should be here within the next couple days. I love the fact that he comes with a buttload of accessories and they didn't just give you a bunch of hands to give, you know, to throw into the pot to make it feel like you got a lot. Comes with tons of gadgets, his suit is movie accurate, his face is movie accurate, you know. Everything except for the cape is pretty much stellar on the figure. I wish that they would have shrunk the body down a little bit. Maybe gave us a little bit more leg articulation, but that's all right because it's not as bad as, you know, the Michael Keaton Batman, which you can't even move that thing. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this figure. Like I said, I'm going to jump into some different poses that you can kind of do with him, fiddle around with. Make sure you guys always read your instructions when posing these two, because you don't want to break something because these are really expensive figures, especially if they're DX figures. It's super expensive. So, let's go ahead and jump into some poses. One thing with the cape, way too long. It's kind of hard to pose it too. I wish I would have thrown a wire into it. Next pose. All right, here is a shot. 
with Bruce Wayne head sculpt. Now he does not come with an empty cowl. What I did is I took that other helmet off and took out the mouth plate. And all I did was kind of rest that into his hand. Holding a sticky bomb gun. It's a helmet. Really, really good head sculpt. I really, really do like it. Awesome detail. And as you guys can see, like sometimes you feel like if you don't, if you can't use all your accessories, do what I do. Put them on the base. You can kind of do some stuff with that. See, I got two bonds there, and I just kind of set a batarang down there in the corner. All right, guys, I just want to thank you guys for joining us. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe down below. Make sure you guys also go ahead and check out all of our previous videos, not only our hot toy reviews, but check out Andy's hilarious Nerd Block unboxings. And join me, Andy, and Calvin as we sit down and talk about comic book movies, something that we're real passionate about here at Fan Wagon. We're also going to be having a Captain America Civil War movie review coming up within the next couple weeks, as well as a... Ant-Man Hot Toy Review. He's in the mail. He'll be here. I'll have that video up for you guys as soon as possible. Like I said, thank you guys for joining us. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share with all your friends. Thank you guys.